in the moment when you're praying it might not feel like he gonna answer you just it's like oh maybe i'm just writing in a diary no god hears and he sees what you've written hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is kimberly louise and i make faith homemaking and lifestyle content here on youtube we are back on wednesday with our prayer series I hope you guys are enjoying this prayer series as much as I am. It is proving fruitful already. So today's video is going to be about how I prayer journal. Now I shared with you guys in my first video, I don't know how to pray, how I use the Lord's Prayer to prayer journal. So in this video, I wanted to actually show you guys how I do it and give you three reasons why you should try prayer journaling in your prayer life. So let's jump in. You can use whatever prayer journal you want. I'm going to be using this beautiful rose gold one that I have. I'm going to give you the first reason why you need to prayer journal. The first one is focus. So for most of us, when we get up, we get up pretty early to spend time with the Lord. At least I know that I do. So sometimes I'm tired. <laughs> so prayer journaling helps me to wake up, get some focus for the day, and just get started. So I start by writing the date and to make it more personal, I write to the Lord as if I'm writing him a letter. I believe that the Bible is God's love letter to us. So writing one to him daily is how I feel super connected to him. From there, I then thank him for waking me up. I also do this verbally as well, but this helps to just get the conversation started. So if you're new to prayer, you're new to prayer journaling, this is just an easy way to kind of get it started. I then thank him for being God and never changing. These are just some examples of what I do. It varies from day to day, obviously, from because every day is different, but God is always the same. So you can say, thank you, Lord, for being the same yesterday, today, and forever. Um, there's a lot you can say. I kind of use the beginning time to just kind of thank him, give him praise, and I just write all of that out. So the first reason you need to keep a prayer journal is because it will keep you focused. Have y'all ever been sitting in bed and was like, I'm gonna just pray in bed? Do y'all really pray in bed? Because every time I have tried to pray in bed, I fall asleep. I don't know, it's like the bed is for sleep. Like I can't, like my brain is like, oh yeah, sleep. <laughs> like, and so it's just funny when I think about it. So I, I make myself get out of bed. So my prayer area is a walking distance. Like I walk to my prayer area. Now, if you don't have a prayer space, that is okay. Your kitchen table works perfectly fine. I wouldn't suggest the couch because the couch is cozy and you know if you're tired you might go back to sleep so make sure you just wherever you do it just find somewhere where you know you can be a little bit more awake and as you spend time with the Lord he awakens you as well all point get out of the bed y'all okay second reason why you need to prayer journal it helps to organize your thoughts now prior to any prayer journaling I usually read a passage or several passages of scripture um, and at this point, I would just start writing down anything God is saying to me. So, for instance, I'm just going to give an example. In 1 Kings 3 and 5, when the Lord asked Solomon, what should I give you? And Solomon replied with thankfulness for what God had already done. And then Solomon asked for a receptive heart to judge your people and to discern between good and evil. That is 1 Kings 3 and 9. So what I would say is, what I would do is say, Lord, give me wisdom like Solomon so that I may have a receptive heart for whatever I may face today. I'll just go in so like I could say, Lord, help me to be wise in my finances today, in my relationship today, in my marriage today. And go into detail on each of those areas individually. And then um, it just helps me kind of organize my thoughts for that day. Um, in the Lord's Prayer, it says, give me this day my daily bread. I, I believe that daily bread is a number of things. It's actual food, but I think it's what you need for the day. Not what you need for next week, not what you need for tomorrow. Now, give me today, give me this day my daily bread. Whatever I need for today, Lord, give me that. So I will write that down in addition to anything specific that may be going on in my life that day that I know of, or just asking God to just go before me that day. I don't know what's gonna happen, but God, you do. So help me to just follow your guidance. I love the prayer journal. This helps me organize my thoughts. And that was just reason number two. 
If you are gaining value so far from this video, please let me know by liking this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It really helps me to know that this is something that you guys are, are loving and that it is helping you in your journeys and your walks with the Lord. Thank you so much for doing that. Now back to the video. Third reason you need to prayer journal is it will give you encouragement when you need it. So y'all, I was looking through my journals in preparation for this video and I found a journal entry from 2014. It says it right here. Y'all see that? Apparently I was writing journal entries in the morning and in the evening because I wrote evening on here. I want to share this journal entry with you guys because prayer is so powerful and when you can fit, you can actually look at what you've written down and what you've prayed to the Lord and like look at your life now it's like wow like he answers prayer in the moment when you're praying it might not feel like he gonna answer you just it's like oh maybe I'm just writing in a diary no God hears and he sees what you've written November 3rd 2014 I said we go back to the first little sentence I'm not gonna read the whole prayer but I said I know that I am on the right track however I am getting asked to do more things in front of large audiences I'm not comfortable with it but I know your call on my life is greater than my fear I just want to take the right opportunities that you want me to take I don't want to accept anything just because other people say I should and would be good at it I want your will for my life God is so good y'all I'm getting emotional um, Lord, I know if you prepare the way, I can walk with confidence in you and not my own strength or other people's opinions of what I should do with my life. Speak to me. I'm listening. Y'all, look at what I'm doing. <laughs> like, God is so faithful. I told y'all, I... In this journal entry, I'm like, Lord, you know I'm not comfortable talking in front of people. Now I know it's real different for me being in my room by myself, talking to this camera, talking to you guys. Um, it's it's very different, and it's like the Lord is like, I understand that you're more introverted, Kim. That's okay. I can use that, and He's still using me to do things that I never thought possible. There are almost 650 of you guys here, <laughs> like. God is able, I don't even know, like, I can't even describe to you guys how I truly feel about God having his hand on my life. That is why prayer journaling has been so powerful for me because it shows me that God quite literally had his hand on my life and he hears prayers. I have so many other prayers I could share with you guys, but that was one that just, it just jumped out at me like, hey Kim, you said you, you knew you weren't comfortable speaking in front of people. And at that time I wasn't, but I was being asked constantly to do things and to get up in front of people and to, you know, pray in front of people and you know, just all of this stuff. And God is using it. God is using it. It just encourages me to continue trusting God in my life and to continue prayer journaling. I, so there was a season of my life where I did not prayer journal. And it's upsetting because now I wish I, I would have been able to look back at those and, and kind of see where I was, you know, to kind of see how far I've come. Um, it's just funny how Satan likes to get in your head and be like, yeah, don't prayer journal. See, you, you don't need to do that. But you do. Now, is it a requirement to prayer journal to talk to the Lord? Absolutely not. You can talk to the Lord just like I'm talking to y'all. There is no, <laughs> this is not a legalistic type of thing. This is just for me tangibly wanting to be able to kind of see <laughs> like what did I ask for and what did I get and being able to say answer that shit answer he answered that he answered that even if you don't even think about him answering it so I hope you guys are just encouraged to pray however you choose to pray the point is to do it and continue to seek the Lord with all your heart remembering that God is God and we are not so we trust him and we let him do his thing See you guys next time. Bye.